2013 has been a game changer for the first digital currency, Bitcoin, and increasingly people are expecting it to go mainstream, yeah, free of government regulations. Exactly, free of government regula regulations using those peer-to-peer -peer principles that no middlemen involved, crucially. It was once considered the currency only for the tech savvy. I'm getting my head Not around I. it slowly. <laughs> But its price went through the roof, of course, just uh, last month after that of the US Federal Reserve said the currency may hold long-term promise. Well, with us now to discuss the future of Bitcoin is Patrick Merck. He's from the uh, General Council of the Bitcoin Foundation. Hi there. Happy New Year too. Thanks for being with RT International. Does the euro or the dollar have anything to worry about here, though, really, end of the day? <laughs> Thanks for having me and Happy New Year to you as well. I don't know that the euro or the dollar has anything to worry about per se. I don't think that Bitcoin is going to replace either currency uh, in the shorter midterm even. Uh, but I do think that what you're going to see with Bitcoin is a uh, internet reference currency, uh, a currency built for the internet that enables uh, consumers to reap tremendous advantages and, and hopefully will make the euro and the US dollar even more liquid and more accessible to people. All right, Patrick, for goofs like me, just if you can just hang on there a second, I'm going to try to explain to our viewers a little bit more about how it works. So, what is Bitcoin? How sure. does it work if you're still the uninitiated? Well, basically, it's a currency that only exists as a digital code, no mints needed for it. Bitcoins are created via so-called digital mining, which is uh, basically an app cracking, um, cracking maths equations. It's then stored in those online wallets we often talk about, like uh, online banking, I guess. Now, wallet holders can exchange those Bitcoins directly with each other, no bank or third party crucially needed. Plus, all Bitcoin exchanges are anonymous, as during transactions, your name's then placed into a digital signature, which is just a random sequence of symbols. So that's how it works. Are you clear, Anissa? A little bit more. I kind of understand. What I don't understand, and I want to bring Patrick back in for this, is what do I do? Okay, I've decided I like the idea. I want to buy some bitcoins. Do I have to download an app? What's my next step? Sure. So if you wanted to become interested in, 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 in Bitcoin and, and acquiring some Bitcoin, spending it, however you want to do it, there are many ways to get Bitcoin. There's no there's no person behind Bitcoin or company behind Bitcoin. As you mentioned, that's the whole point. So if you want to get Bitcoin, you can hold them yourself. You can download the reference client for Bitcoin. You can find that at bitcoin.org, um, O-R-G. Uh, or you can use a service company uh, that will provide either a wallet for you or an exchange where you can fund your wallet as well. How you acquire your first Bitcoins, you can mine them if you want to by using your computing power to help process transactions on the network. I mean, you can earn them by providing services or goods to people on the internet, or you can, of course, just buy them. It, it sounds great, but we saw the ups and the downs throughout the year, the volatility of it. End of the day, do you think anytime soon it's just really going to fizzle out? People are going to go, it, it's not reliable enough, can't be bothered. Or safe enough. <laughs> Sure. So there, there's been some volatility, but that's not unexpected when you think about uh, a new system that's just come around. We're, we're just about to hit five years old, right, for a technology that's very, very new. Uh, and people are just starting to, to learn about it and get excited about it. So it's, it's a supply and demand driven market. So as more people want Bitcoin, the price tends to go up because you have to get them from somebody who already has the Bitcoin. Um, so it, it, it's thinly traded right now. It's definitely a high risk environment for your average consumers. People should not be putting their life savings into Bitcoin right now. But I think over time, what you'll see is that the price will level out. It'll come to a level that's, sustain that's sustainable through, through again, the, the, the supply and demand, the market mechanics. As the market for Bitcoin matures, uh, you, you won't see the dramatic swings. That could be even a couple more years from now before we get to that level set. But, but it will likely happen. Patrick. Uh, in the interim, it's, uh, it, it's yeah. I was going to say, we've got to leave it there. I uh, hope all your plans turn out for Bitcoin, and I hope 2014 is prosperous for you. <laughs> Have a nice New Year, sir. Thank you for coming on the programme. Nice to see you. Thanks for having me.